We have practical exam and we are starting at the SO gas station in Bad Zurnam Taunus. And the plan is to come back here to the SO gas station Bad Zurnam Taunus. It's December and it starts snowing. And the first direction we go is bitte rechts abbiegen. Please turn right. So we were leaving the Esso gas station to the right side on the main road, Königsteiner Street in Bad Soden. The wiper starts automatically if the sensor gets hit by a rain or by snow. A red traffic light turns green and we can go. But this was just a uh, um, traffic light for pedestrian crossing. It was not regulating the intersection. So right now the street condition is not bad. It's almost dry. It's not slippery but it was around zero degrees of centigrade which is very dangerous uh, especially in left or right curves if you go too fast you could start slipping out An der Ampel nach rechts abbiegen bitte. Please turn right at the traffic lights. The traffic light is red, but on the right side we have no traffic light. We have just the giveaway sign and we can just make a normal turn with a speed of 20, 25, something like that. Then we are outside the city. The speed limit outside the city is 100 and because nobody is in front of us right now, we can go close to the maximum limit. The only thing that happens is you have a longer way of braking if it's a little bit wet on the ground. If it's slippery or ice on the road, you have uh, 10 times more uh, way of braking than you should have a lot of space to your front uh, car but right now it's not too bad nächste straße rechts abbiegen bitte please turn right the next street we are leaving the priority road and we come to an island where there is no traffic sign which means it's right before left. We are on the right side of the island and we have the priority. And here we are also on a priority road so we can go in the right side but there is no car have to wait. And the oncoming traffic is left turner and they also have to wait. We are coming to a motorway and almost all motorways are similar to highway so we have to integrate on the higher speed road. Indicate left, check the left mirror and accelerate nearly to that speed which they are driving on the motorway which is 100. The questions before um, the exam from the examiner were What do you have to check at the wheels? Was müssen Sie an den Reifen regelmäßig kontrollieren? And the student said the condition, the Bedingung, the, the Zustand der Reifen. And uh, the examiner asked uh, what else do you need to check? And uh, he said the tire pressure, the Luftdruck. And he asked where can you check the tire pressure? And he said at the gas station, an der Tankstelle. So, 
please go straight the direction board says we have to change to the left side to go straight and he changed the left lane was free and two days earlier we were going to the right side to Königstein that's why he wanted to go back but we reminded him that today we go straight and that we keep the left lane no problem and another question of the examiner was um, if it's foggy if you have less than 50 meters uh, visibility um, where can you switch on the rear fog lights wenn Sie weniger als 50 Meter Sicht haben, wo können Sie die Nebelschlussleuchte einschalten? And he switched on the rear fog lights and the question was how can you recognize that the rear fog lights are switched on? Geradeaus hier bitte. Straight. And the answer was the yellow or the amber control light at the light switch. Die gelbe Kontrollleuchte am Lichtschalter. So you see it's always the same questions the examiners are asking. Nebelschlussleuchte by the way the rear fog lights is in the top three of the questions. It's almost every time they ask for the rear fog lights. Vorfahrtstraße, priority road here, so we go on. Now you can see we were climbing a little bit higher, so we're probably 100 and 150 meters higher than starting in Bad Soden. So it is a little bit colder over there. And you see the snow is staying on the streets. The wiper is doing its job. Perfect. Don't be satisfied with any strange visibility out of your window, out of your windscreen. Always uh, take care that you have a perfect view, like at your television. Nächste Straße rechts abbiegen bitte. Please turn right the next street. So slow speed for the slippery road. Well done. We enter a 30 zone. Nochmal rechts abbiegen bitte. Please turn right again. And in a 30 zone, right before left rule. Rechts vor links in der 30er zone. Halten Sie bitte neben dem weißen Auto und parken rückwärts ein. Please stop next to the white car and park the car backwards behind. So you slow down and you stop with indicator right and then you start the reverse parking like you already learned in your lessons. And I have read many, many comments. I really need to make a reverse parking video. I will do so. But it will not be a, a big video about how to get into the spot. It will be more a solution video if the reverse right parking goes wrong. That's my plan. You need solutions for problems. Almost everyone will get the car into this situation, but how do you act if you are too far away? How do you act if your wheel hits the curbstone? Yeah, you need solutions to problems if your standard procedure does not work very well. And you can calculate that in 80% of the parkings uh, of the movements in your exam, it will not be perfectly parallel uh, right side on the curbstone. Machen Sie bitte auf mein Stoppsignal die Gefahrenbremsung. Please do an emergency braking after my stop signal. And that's what he did. Mirror blinker blind spot and we can go on driving. 
it's not a very difficult exercise uh, the emergency braking if we already uh, have slippery road because you need to brake so hardly that the wheels um, are stopping while you are driving and the anti-blocking system the emergency brake system needs to get activated little construction over here no problem slowing down going on now we are coming to another right before left situation start braking early if it's uh, slippery Bitte suchen Sie sich eine Stelle zum Wenden. Please find a space to turn the car around. Here is a very big spot on the right side, but he didn't want it. It was already possible to do to take this spot without reversing gear. So here's another spot on the right side and now he started indicating and he was slowing down to stop the car and then it was clear what he is doing. He is going reverse right into the street. By putting the reverse gear many cars start the, the back wiper automatically if the front wiper is activated. So reverse right. You see the, uh, there was already enough, okay. Because no car was coming, so he need, didn't need to get uh, completely into the side street. He just uh, put in the back wheels and then he went on. That's absolutely okay. And if a car is coming, then you uh, better go inside completely with your car. Bitte links abbiegen, please turn left. Don't forget to move back to the right side behind the white car. Oncoming traffic is clear. Right side is clear. Blind spot. Turn. Nächste Straße rechts abbiegen bitte. Please turn right the next street. Big stop sign. Let's see if he is able to stop the car and yes, full stop. No car was coming. Right turn. And we have already been here. Do you remember when we were coming from the motorway, which is behind us, and we were going straight at the traffic lights? That's the same road. We are still inside the city. It's the speed limit of 50 here. And we are on a priority road. That's just the reminder. If you remember the rules because you have already been there, it's no problem, it's helpful, it's less stress. Here, five minutes ago was a parked car, now he's gone. And we turn right, but now we go straight. So, what did we do until now? We've had a little bit of uh, main road in the city. We've had country road. We've had the integration on a motorway or a highway. We've had the three exercises like reverse parking, emergency braking and the turnaround. What now is missing is a little bit uh, driving in the city with the side streets right before left and left and right turns. But generally we have done a lot, almost everything done. Here's the direction board and you can see a roundabout on the direction board. 
Verlassen Sie den Kreisel bitte an der ersten Ausfahrt. Please leave the roundabout at the first exit. From the left side some people are coming, so we better do not enter. And here you see where they already put salt on the street and on the side streets they didn't. That's why here the street is only wet and not slippery anymore. And now we have a nice and broad street. Main road. You can clearly see where all other cars were driving. Today no motorcycles. That's why the center of your lane is not uh, clean of snow. Oh, oh, I, I, well, I needed to control the steering wheel. He was going to the right side so much that uh, he would have crashed both wheels at the big curbstone on the right side. So I needed to uh, control the steering wheel to the left side that we don't crash the wheels. So in this case the exam was over unfortunately and it was the other video I, you can see the link over here he already failed um, he already failed in another situation which was with the no entry signs you probably remember if not the link is over there yeah this was another failed <laughs> driving exam unfortunately one of the last exams in the year 2022